How's it going, everyone? Welcome back. Today, I've got a little ExpressVPN tutorial for you guys. Now, whether you've recently gotten your hands on an ExpressVPN subscription and want to know how to use it to the fullest, or you're checking out how the app works to decide whether or not it's the right pick for you, I'll be showing you step by step how to use the app and giving you all the ins and outs so that you can just have the best experience possible. Of course, this will go over all the general settings, how to use it for streaming and torrenting, and which features you'll be using the most throughout your subscription subscription. But before we get into all of that, if you're interested in getting ExpressVPN for yourself, you'll find all the useful links, including a special discount in the description down below. So remember to check that out. All right. Now, the first thing you'll be met with when you open the ExpressVPN app is this on switch. And believe it or not, in most cases, you'll open up the app, just press this button and exit. And that's it. No jumping hoops, no dramatic configurations, just this button. So what can you do here? Well, first of all, by default, when you press this, ExpressVPN will auto automatically connect you to the best possible server, depending on the connection stability and how far you are from the server. This comes in handy in situations where you only want to encrypt your traffic without having any specific country in mind. For example, if you ever need to use a public Wi-Fi network, which is known to be extremely sketchy and dangerous, all you got to do is open ExpressVPN, click this and close the app. And if you want to disconnect, repeat the exact same process. That's straightforward. All right. Now let's say you have a specific country in mind that you want to connect to. All you got to do is press these three little dots right here, which will open up a server menu with these three tabs, favorites, all and recommended. Now in the favorites tab, you'll see all the servers that you set as favorites and want to go back to regularly. To do that, just press the star icon near the server and it'll mark it as a favorite and then show up uh, both here and on the homepage. As for the recommended tab, this will show you the list of recommended servers and servers you recently connected to. So if you connected to a server and liked it, you can find it here so that you can star it and add it to your favorites. And when it comes to the all tab, this will display every single ExpressVPN server separated into regions for clarity. And if you're wondering, ExpressVPN has over 3000 servers in 105 countries, which is the second most I've seen offered by a premium VPN service. Like such an expansive list of countries will definitely open up a lot of doors when it comes to accessing content. And speaking of accessing content, even though the majority of VPN users have such services to enhance their internet privacy, a huge portion of them also use VPNs to access content that is not available in their countries yet. And when it comes to that, ExpressVPN is the best at it for two simple reasons. All their servers are optimized for both streaming and torrenting, which comes in handy when you're using streaming platforms like Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, etc. Also, ExpressVPN has the second most countries out of all the premium VPNs, at least all the ones I've tested, which means that it can access several streaming libraries and international content from around the world. If you take Netflix, for example, ExpressVPN would allow you to access over 20 different libraries, which is again, the second most I've seen in the industry. So how do you use ExpressVPN for streaming? Well, let's just say you're trying to watch a show exclusive to US Netflix, but you live outside of the US. All you gotta do is press the three little buttons here, click on all and choose one of the servers from the US section, then press the on button. Now go back to the Netflix page and give it a quick refresh and that's it. And it pretty much works the same for all popular streaming platforms, by the way. So that's for streaming, but what about torrenting? Well, there are a couple features I wanted to talk about that can be really helpful to protect you while you're torrenting. First of all, you have the kill switch, which is always on by default. And what this does is that it basically severs your internet connection immediately whenever you accidentally disconnect from the VPN server. This way you can prevent your ISP or anyone else from prying on your online activity. You also have the split tunneling feature, which allows you to select which apps go through the VPN tunnel and which ones don't. Like let's say I wanted to torrent a certain file, but at the same time I wanted to play some video games. I can set up my torrenting app to go through the VPN tunnel while everything else runs normally. So to access this feature, just click on the three bars on the top left, options, general, and at the bottom, you'll find manage connection on a per app basis. Click on that and choose which apps you want to use the VPN with and then which ones you don't. That's pretty much it. By the way, these two features can also help you quite a lot if you live in like a restrictive environment or a country with very strict censorship laws. Now, these are the two features I would say that you'll use the most, but ExpressVPN has recently started expanding and adding some new features that are honestly pretty cool. 
For example, Express rolled out the Threat Manager feature on Windows, which improves overall security by blocking trackers and malicious websites. And this is a definitely welcomed addition since ExpressVPN tends to be more conservative with how many extra features they add to the VPN, as it was made to be fairly basic and easy to use, obviously. <laughs> All right, now I'll get into the gaming part in just a bit, but before that, I wanna talk a bit about the connection speed when it comes to VPNs. Generally speaking, you will experience a drop in speed regardless regardless of what VPN you use. However, the percentage at which it drops is what separates exceptional VPNs from the not so good ones. And as far as speed goes, ExpressVPN is arguably the fastest VPN out there, only rivaled by NordVPN. So throughout my testing, my speed drops were between 10 and 25%, which is absolutely great. So with that being said, this speed drop may not necessarily affect your gaming experience. In fact, I actually get an even better ping when using a VPN sometimes because my ISP drops my connection speed like so low when I game but with a VPN on they have absolutely no idea what I'm doing and if you want to achieve the lowest ping possible there are a couple things you need to do first of all go to the preferences tab and change the protocol to lightweight UDP which is Express's fastest performing protocol now normally I would recommend you keep this on automatic but when gaming it's best if you set it to UDP to get low ping and second of all, try to connect to a VPN server that's close to your gaming server, preferably within the same country. So this way you can achieve the best ping possible when gaming, even with a VPN on. So that's basically everything you need to know to use ExpressVPN to the fullest. Now, I mean, I'm sure there are a little more advanced options that I didn't mention, but these are the ones that are already set by default to the best options possible. And you only need to worry about them in very rare and specific cases. But everything else that I talked about is what the majority of users would want to know in order to have the best experience possible when using Express. So that's it for today's video. Make sure to check out the links in the description in case you want to give Express a shot, as I'll always include the best coupon I can find to save you a bit of money on that subscription. Besides that, like and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.